not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. All right, if you want to see more like this, please like and subscribe. So we're going to look at Eagle of Man and Garrett Gerthy, Double G, two of the longest throwers on the planet. And what they're doing is very similar, but using forces just a little differently. To the, and the differences are basically based on how their bodies are different. So everybody's got to find their own mixture of forces to use for themselves and their swing. So generally you want to start with people that kind of look like you. So if you're built like Eagle, you probably don't want to be trying to copy Garrett too much other than the sequence of the swing. Same thing if you're double G, I don't think you'd want to be trying to throw like Eagle. So if we look at them, they are freaking balanced between their feet. What you'll see with a lot of amateurs here is that they are actually tipped behind the trailing foot or too far forward. And notice that their eyes are on the target. Shoulders closed, hips closed. You rarely see this combination with the amateurs. The head is almost always turned back so that turns the shoulders even further back, tips the balance back. So then you're going back and then you have to go tip forward into the plant. So the other thing you'll see with amateurs that their shoulders and hips are open here. And if you're open here, it's gonna be, mean you have to rotate much further back later. So uh, things get messy and usually you don't end up getting far enough back or turn back enough. So, Double G is pushing into the ground vertically and horizontally, so it's more diagonal, and that's gonna push him up into his hop. So Eagle, he still has gravity overcome, but uh, he's basically just pushing more against the ground horizontal, which is pushing his body horizontal to the plant. And if we move along here into the landing of the left foot here, they really don't start turning back their head or shoulders until they get pressure in the rear foot. The shoulders are turning back and the arm is extending and the disc is staying almost in place so the body's moving forward away from the disc and they're just lagging the disc behind what you'll see with a lot of amateurs is that they are pushing the disc further back and then they have to drag it way forward early into the plant so here they are loading and turning back inside of the rear leg. Everything is coiling back into the, the leg here. But the, the foot is driving that way. So the center is going this way. Lagging back. And here we're getting into the door frame position or going down to the plant. So everything's extended back and the mass is going forward into the plant centered. What you'll often see here with amateurs is that either their body is back here or too far forward. All right, so going to the plant, they are almost in the same position. Getting ready to brace up on the front leg, so 
Actually, the double G is more vertical, so he's pushing more into the ground this way. Just pushing him that way. The swing is going to drop down that way, and then pendle him up. So, Eagle, he's pushing more horizontal, which is bracing his center back. The rear foot is coming off the ground here, or already off. And the foot is going to go behind the front leg. It's not coming around this direction. So if we go back here, we're going to go to right on landing on the front toes here. So when you're planting into the front heel, you want this heel to come down and this heel to come up at the same time. So it's pressing the front side down into the plant. Boom. So you're getting a big pressure shift into the front foot. And that's going to brace you up more sudden and create a faster rotation and whip. So everything's going to coil into the front leg. The front leg is resisting against everything going this way. Boom. So everything coils into the power pocket. Everything is closed coming in and whips out. Boom. And then you follow through. So right at the release here, their arm is basically pulled taut from the shoulder like a ball on string. It's not really, uh, there's no collapse of the arm or anything. It's just your biggest moment arm. Uh, so it's going to give you the most leverage on the disc. Again, they're a little different in the forces here. Double G is more vertical and more pendulum motion. And Eagle's he's still got a little pendulum motion because he's got gravity to deal with but it's moving in a more horizontal plane. And that's gonna open the shoulder more. When you're swinging more vertical, the shoulder's gonna stay a bit more closed. And when they go into the finish, they get balanced completely up on that front leg. Most amateurs are either falling back or falling over. Most are falling over because they try to shift their weight back in the backswing that makes you go back over top. So because we're in an X step and not doing a standstill, there's absolutely no reason to try and shift your weight back or lean back. You wanna keep everything moving forward basically inside of the rear foot. So everything is inside of the foot. Most amateurs here are back behind, trying to load their weight further back, which is counterproductive because you want to get forward into the plant. And your weight can't be any more back when you never move back. You're moving forward. All right.